Well, we True. will be, but... All right. And welcome to episode... I should have looked. I don't know. 56, 56 58, 57, 16, 55, something like that. Elemental P. Elemental P of Ripping yes. the Rack podcast. Uh, I am, Oh, we are no longer the Triforce Trihose. No. We are now the Quadriplegics. The Quads. The Paraplegics. The Quad City... The Bowling Quad City, DJs. the Quad City oh, unit, the Quad City yeah. units, the four horsemen of Candlepin Bowling. Tim, look at your TV. Last time he said that, a good thing happened. No, <laughs> bad this things time. happen. Bad <laughs> words, bad words. Damn that's her. the Bruins game, folks. Yes, that's good. Five four. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I am one of your hosts. My name is Tim. I am the. Uh, how shall we say? I'm the dumbass of the group. So if we're the four horsemen of the apocalypse, I'm Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> With me today, uh, on, the, on the top right of my screen, Maki Pins, you're on the top, buddy. How you doing? Yo, it's just good to be on top this time. I can breathe. I'm a happy guy. It's great to be <laughs> here. I'm happy for oxygen. Yes. 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 On the bottom right, he's riding the bottom, Mr. Brian Ather. And Brian, how you doing, buddy? Well, you know, it's it's my place down here, I guess. There's there's three guys that can say they're a world champion, and then there's me. <laughs> and the new guy. We don't really like him, but we needed someone from the north, and, you know. The north remembers. The north, the the north, north remembers. Hashtag the north remembers. The king of the north. Sure. I'll Calvin, take it. how you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm good, buddy. How are you? I'm doing well, he's got the crown yeah, right behind I'm him. Just- Oh, yeah, I got the crown. I'm ready to go. Nice. Can I just say how happy I am to hear the Atlantic Canada accent, like, in person? (laughs) Am I the only American that goes up there and goes, oh, my God, I love this accent? (laughs) I have to be the only one. This is just normal conversation talk. You guys have the accent. Oh, absolutely. Of course (laughs) we do. Yeah, 110%. My favorite is... For two days after I get back, I'm just I'll bump it. It's a sorry, sorry, oh, time. sorry, oh. sorry. I throw in A's all over the place. Yeah. Like it's it's yeah. really a thing. It's the best. Yeah, it especially is. when I go around a roundabout. Man, a roundabout. I still don't get it. I'm I'm baffled. I don't understand where you guys get boot. Nobody says a boot here. We say about. You know, because uh, Terrence and Philip and South Park changed everything about us down yes. here, thinking about <laughs> yes. the Canadian lingo. I just don't even get it. We're Nobody just happy your head's fully attached, and it's not two pieces like Terrence and Philip. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't even spell boot. It's about. Round a boot. <laughs> oh. No. I don't know. I still call it a freaking rotary when I go up there. Sure. Yeah. People look at I, 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 just, I just drive, and then I try not to ruin Brian's truck. That's kind of what I do. Yeah. It's just, that's, I don't know. That's Sometimes that's he succeeds. That other times he almost flips it. <laughs> so I, we, we attempted this once before and my whole system crashed and we lost the recording. <laughs> so we're, we're going back to the beginning of, uh, of the episode. And uh, I we were like 20 minutes in too. We were kicking ass. It was going yeah. good. We were cruising. Yeah. We were. Oh, so yeah. We were... So, I just oh. got a thing here. My my system updated in it. It did install updates for me. Good, good. I'm so, glad. Yeah. It's good probably up. Yeah, it's mean, the MVP of the MVP of the show right now is Tim's system. Yes, yes. Uh, so before we dive into a couple of lock letters, oh, and he's here. So he's before here. we even get started, oh, I know all three of you want to do it. So let me have it. Come on. Give me the Leafs bashing. I know you all want to do it. No. Let's go. No. <laughs> you know what? They're already playing golf. Calvin, listen. I am anything. a Dallas Cowboys fan. I shall never bash anyone for I anything. I that out loud. The Yankees. Ooh, that's the sick part. Calvin, I can't bash a team that never wins. I mean, I'm they used to my three team. games. That's good enough, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, they haven't been out of the first round since, what, you were in diapers. No. No, I was old enough. You know, it's been like 20 plus years. No, it hasn't. 2004. That's pretty damn close. 17 years. Yeah, it's not 20. (laughs) That's when I graduated (laughs) high school. I was in high school. 2004? Yeah, I graduated. I was 30-something. 
<laughs> we established this. You're old. I was yeah. 30. I was if, 33. If 32. nothing else, even about the Leafs, there's one thing that all four of us can agree on is that Habs not sucks. one of us would ever put on a Habs jersey and cheer for those people. Not is- one of us would do no. that. So in no. a sense... We have this big brother, little brother relationship with like Toronto fans. It's like, yeah, whatever, leave me alone. But hey, listen, kid, the Habs suck. I'd rather so, wear a New York Giants shirt than a Hab shirt. I would never wear a Hab never, shirt ever. Never. In the history of ever's. Never. Never. Sadly, sadly, they're winning again, and okay. they're now over three hundred and forty minutes of leading hockey but, games. But they're not playing real teams. <laughs> All I mean, right, easy, easy. <laughs> they, they haven't played a real team yet. Wait until they come down and they play one of these teams well, down here. No, like the here Islanders or the Bruins. We, or we've raised an interesting Vegas. thought here. How are they or going Vegas? to do that? I mean, they've they've uh, actually given the go-ahead. Did you not read that? No. They gave, I didn't, they gave the go-ahead. The uh, Canadian government gave the go-ahead for American teams to come across the border. So they have to, they basically just have to go to a hotel and that's all they can do is hotel to the arena. Okay. So they so can't when they go, come to, down they for can't the go out games. to eat and things like that. It's, they can't do it. They have to is do that for room all service. sports or just hockey. As far as I know, just hockey. Oh, okay. Cause the blue Jays are still playing in Buffalo. Yeah. And yeah. I don't think that'll change. I think that's going to be that way for this year would be yeah. my guess. I think so too. Yeah. Because, uh, they, again, they started out down in, what, down in Florida at their, tra- at their uh, spring training facility. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then transferred up to uh, up to Buffalo. Did you, Man, see, the guy, how, how did you see the guy's sign that he posted? No. Said the Leafs blew a 3-1 lead and Buffalo stole your baseball team. Yeah, I saw I like, that. Oh. Saw that. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't. Like, yeah, I, oh. yeah. I, yeah. Didn't, I didn't see that. What's a That's, bigger deal? For fans, is it the Blue Jays or is it the Maple Leafs? Oh, it's the Maple Leafs for sure. The Leafs, yeah. Oh yeah. The Blue but, Jays are still kind of coming into because now with Vladdy, they'll be they'll be the talk of the and town. Bo so, well, Bo's hit or miss, but the, Vladdy man is, yeah, everything. I think he's the real deal. I really oh, I think so too. I, now, I think that, so. now that he's lost thirty pounds and he's yeah, actually I think him and Tatis are going to run this league for a long time. Yeah. Well, um, so short, 15 years left his contract. I mean, let's face it. Vladdy's only going to be in Toronto for another couple of years. And then he's. Oh, and there's no way Tatis is finishing Yankees. that contract. Yeah. He's not finishing in San Diego. They're trading him in about you year eight. So? Oh, yeah. Tatis? Yeah. Now. They'll trade him no in year take, eight. No one, will, no one will take him. If he keeps Yankees playing like this, I don't think he can. I mean, he's on pace for 66 home runs this year. Yeah, I'd love to see it. I think it'd be cool. I want to see him hit seventy three. I want to see him break it. Why so, not? Very bonds for life. Let's talk bowling. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah, that's, that's why we're here. So the first thing uh, that I'd like to talk about, obviously, is the interesting tournament at Stars and Strikes Bowling Center and in, in the lovely, thriving metropolis. Of South Paris, Maine. <laughs> Drop this. <laughs> also, they are taking signups for the All Nighter this year as well. Yes. Oh man, yes. I really I saw wish that they're the still open. doing that. I'd love to do an All Nighter. It is so much fun, Cal. It I is the best. Fun. Until three in the morning, and then you hate yourself. Oh, I don't I even care. I haven't bowled that All Nighter in since actually since I moved to the mid coast. Um, when I lived up there, absolutely, I bowled it because you know it was ten minutes from the house. It would get done at five in the morning. I'd go home, go to bed. Um, but yes, they have a three forty three cap. So what they're calling a three four three three person nine pin marathon tournament. I like how they uh, did that too. The three four three three forty three. I like that. That's you yeah. know that's, that's a lot of thinking right there. It's so it's a, a three like person a team. Uh, male, female, all male, all female. Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, Highest known league average. Uh, let's see. All bowling will be nine pin style. Uh, this will be done on June 19th at 9 a.m. And for those of you that don't know, Maine does nine pin different. It's nine after one's a strike, nine after two's a spare, nine after three's a ten. 
You have yes. noticed that. It just has to be one pin standing. Yeah. Yep. And and the box, whatever ball mm -hmm. it is. See, we've run nine pin at Riverwalk before, and it's just your first ball. Drop nine, and it counts as a strike, and that's it. You still have to make the spare for real. This is kind of cool. Scores get to be absurdly high when you do it this they way. They do. They yeah. do. Yeah. And it's and honestly, it's 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 fun to do it every once in a while. Um, but what I find is that if I bowl this and then I try to bowl a normal tournament, like when I'm warming up, I'm so confused because I'm like, oh, oh, shit. Yeah, I don't need to cut this over. I just got to take these two. <laughs> right. Like, you know, you're you're no longer trying to make the cut shots. You're no longer doing things like that. You you do start to do things a little bit different. Just make um, sure you don't throw your first ball, drop nine, and push the button. <laughs> you go back to your well, regular one. And I've seen that. Yeah. I've, that I've seen people do that. Yeah. Um. So anyway, the cool part about this, so isn't necessarily that it's a 343 cap or it's a nine pin. It's the format. Uh, so it's a team event, three game matches. Okay. So three string matches. Bowler A bowls boxes one through three. Bowler B bowls boxes four through seven. Bowler C will bowl boxes eight, nine, and 10, filling any marks in the 10th frame. The cool part is all bowlers must bowl in all positions over the course of the match. So if I was bowling this with Brian and another person, I couldn't bowl in that eighth, ninth, and tenth all three strings. So there's only, there's only three strings. Only one. Yeah. They only three three strings to a match. Strings. Okay. Three string matches. So. Oh, you mean match? That's, I thought I meant like how many strings are there in total? Oh, uh, well, I would assume if there's fourteen teams, they'll bowl everybody once. Will be they'll bowl everyone once. Three strings. Yeah, that's oh a God. long weekend. Uh, that's a one-day tournament. What? Yeah. No. Yeah, because you're no, 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 no. You're, you're only you're, bowling one complete string yourself. Right. Really. Yes, but you're still bowling. It's a, it's it's less than complete matches. It's yeah, but it's less than an, it's less than an hour per match, on something that's, like this. It's a long day. Cool. Don't get me wrong. They'll they'll start at nine. They'll be done around nine at night. Nine or ten at night. Yeah, it's a long still, day. That's that's still yeah. a long yeah. ass day. It's, being it's done a long nine, day. Ten, eleven at night. Yeah. Yeah. They can't. They can't be doing matches then. They are. They must be just doing strings. It's, they can't. That's thirty nine strings in a day. No, it's not, Calvin. You just said three string matches. Thirteen. Right. I, I know. But you're only bowling three boxes but each you're string. So you're only bowling nine string. boxes total for the match. Yes. But you're still bowling. 39 complete True. strings. Okay. That's what yes. I'm saying. That's going to take forever. Yes. But each it's nine match pinch. is not going to take three hours like it would a world's match when you're bowling. Yeah. That's the difference. Each match will take under an hour. It should take it under should. an hour. It should. Either way, okay. with all the sitting and getting up and only bowling a couple, but there's going to be a lot of hurting puppies in the room by the end of the day, man. Oh, that's yeah. going to that's a lot. Uh, that could almost be even more taxing on the body. Bowling three boxes and then you sit down until the middle of the next game if you're bowling second in the next or game. Or the end. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, that. that there's going to be a lot of strategy involved with who's yeah. your endurance person, who's your out-of-the-gate electric stupid person. Like, what? Son of a stupid son of a <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was just letting it marinate. <laughs> I'm like, what's he doing? Oh, wait. No, shit. That yeah, means... the Bruins lost. <laughs> stupid. Turn this. Mother... Stupid. I'm turning this car around. Oh, Winnipeg just scored two uh, goals. <laughs> anyway, so uh, to sign up for this tournament, please contact Will Damon or Jeff LaPierre. And uh, again, cool tournament. Yeah, it looks, cool it tournament. looks like it's going to be fun. I'm yeah, interested to see like feedback and how everybody liked yeah. it after. Hopefully yeah, they live see. stream some of it. <laughs> yeah, we should see if we can get some live stream or talk to that, somebody after it's that done. would be that would be cool. Yeah. Um the big tournament is coming up this weekend. Candleton Bowling. Fuck COVID. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Well, yeah. at least I at He's least not. at <laughs> least. I won't lose to Calvin at the finals this year. It's the best time, though. Everybody loves losing to Calvin. <laughs> Look, I 
I, I, really. I have said this multiple times on this show. That is still one of my favorite matches I have oh, ever had. A Very far done. Even though we lost, just the atmosphere, it was miserably it, hot for everybody. And it, it was a long day. It was a long weekend, not just a day. We had we had a five hour drive home after. Oh God! Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. You yeah, know what I the haven't... worst the worst part is that they didn't get the whole match because I remember that Sean Morrison made two cut shots, like unbelievable cut shots, in like the fourth and sixth box, I think. Yep. And Evan threw Evan. I think had four marks out of his with a like, with a huge hammer. Yeah. Uh, well, he got that one. She got that one at the end. Oh yeah. It only got the, like the last three boxes. Right, it got Evan's last box, and then the yeah. two, then boxes the two of, boxes of Godwin and, and Morrison. Yeah, but I mean, um, there were so many good shots. It was such a good match. Like, I wish they could have gotten the whole thing on, but nobody really thought about it. I know. Were you guys I, talking about the mixed teams in Bangalore mi- back yeah. in nineteen, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a hell of a fucking match. That whole string. Oh my god, that was uh, amazing. Unreal. It was. It was. Uh... <laughs> I did tell Evan, I told him before the start of that, I'm like, are you sure this is a lineup you want to go with? And that's the only thing I'll say. I just... <laughs> Good old Dumpy. <laughs> I mean, he's won, some, he's won some matches in the past. He has. <laughs> I can't call, guys, I can't call yourself. him out. I can't. I can't do it. Um, if you, guys, if you yeah. want to, that's on. That's, oh, hey. I have no problem with it. <laughs> Um, I personally would have had Evan Bolin anchor. It was his house. That was when, you know, he, he was won the singles great. that year. Um, I the just I would have had him Bolin anchor. That was just me. Um, but in Evan's defense, we had just gone seven and zero to even make a single string roll off yeah. with Morrison Bolin fifth, and he didn't want to cha- he didn't want to change it up. Right. So. And new, nobody threw any towels. It, it was a good match. Yeah, in that particular match. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I didn't throw a towel. I don't know I what know you did. No, I you know didn't. You did. I have no. no idea what you guys are you talking didn't. about. So what, do we have yeah. rosters for this year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's... I like how Brian always I'm just plays gonna breathe the... breathe uh, on that one right, right now. Here, Brian. He, I like how Brian always plays the uh, straight guy I'm the here. the voice now. of reason. Good yes. Segue. Good segue. We did. We I'm did. an unbiased sports reporter. So we have the Candlepins for Cancer presents the mixed international national. national team tournament this weekend, June 12th and 13th at Academy Lanes in Haverhill, Massachusetts. Jesus. Actually, it's in Bradford. Bradford. It's Bradford. But let's call it Haverhill. Potato, potato. It's kind of the same thing. It's kind of not. Mm. Yeah, but if you live in Bradford. There's no dunks in the parking lot anymore, Tim. I know. Mark told me. No. It's Aroma Joe's now. It's Aroma Joe's. It's but it's still dunks. wicked good coffee. Oh, yeah? Still good. Aroma Joe's. Had is, it's boss level coffee. It's not like jet fuel like Starbucks is. It's it's just good <laughs> coffee. Their, their pastries yeah, and their cool. sandwiches are way better. So it's you're losing nothing. It's a little more expensive. Like you get a dunks, a medium dunks, it's like 250 It's probably going to be like 3 three fifty for a regular coffee. But it's still good coffee when you need a cup. Either way, it's at Academy Lanes. That's so, a fact, too. Yes. Yeah. That's not much I can say. Uh, they do a great... I I like going there. I think I think they do a fantastic job running these tournaments. I just... It's such a tough house to bowl in sometimes. It is. I, I, sure. I, it's I, turned I, into that in the last few years. It wasn't always like this. We were bowling leagues there two, three nights a week, and... and Pinfall was outrageously good. Guys were scoring left and right. You had the pro league, like we have the, it's not really the pro league, but it's like a three man, 80% handicap speed where all the guns were in it for the most part. Um, You had 16 teams of three guys on a team. Usually the lowest average in the league was like 310, 315 for a specific team. And that was like a couple house guys that just managed to get in. And you, out of all those guys, you would have, you know, 36 to 40 bowlers and 25 of them were averaging 120 or better five, 10 years ago. Then something changed. So what happened? Something I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Something just changed and the house got 
quirkier. It's not tough. It's quirky. It, it's it, one like ball Deadwood's is not the same as the word. next one. Yeah, it's like quirky. That quirky word. <laughs> yeah. Tough is tough. Tough is just you walk in and it's like throwing ping pong balls at redwood trees. It's like, all right, this sucks. I wish, Academy. I wish you guys next time. Next time, if Can Am's ever opens up, you guys should come with me. We'll go uh, Friday night or Saturday night. We'll go to KV Lanes. Oh God! Oh, I've KV. bowled there. I've no, bowled you there. haven't. Have you really? Yeah. Oh man. So we have a a mixed provincials. I guess it's kind of like the mixed worlds, but provincials, right? And uh, we had myself, Corey. Scott Esther Brooks, you know, back like a few years, you know, when everybody was really good, right? High average there, 116.4. Oh. Whoa. It makes Westport look fast. Oh, it's bad. I, I, we had we had one girl, I'll even give you an example. We had one girl, we bowled them in the in the uh, semi or the quarterfinals, semifinals. And in our round robin match, she had an 81. In the semifinals, she had a 127 over at uh, the North End, wherever we went, the Fairview for the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So she went from 81 in the round robin to 127, almost but, throwing the exact same ball. But here, my God. here's here's my here's my take on this. I don't understand, and this it's the same thing with golf. Okay, I'm a golfer, have been for a long time. I will never understand why tournaments like the U.S. Open in golf make it so ridiculously hard where it just it, – I don't understand it. And it's the same with bowling. I'll never understand why, as a proprietor of the house, you make your place so ridiculously tough that people just don't have fun. This, this is more these, – these are owners that don't care anymore. They haven't yeah. touched it. It's been broken for years, and they just don't. They just don't fix it. They don't touch it. We actually had a meeting, and because they get so much business through that one tournament, we told them we will not bring the tournament back until you fix stuff that is broken. And they ended up fixing some of it, but it still didn't matter. I think high average the last time we were there was one eighteen point two. So Which for a major yeah. event is yes, yeah. I mean, ten again, less than what it should be. I'm not saying you need 20 guys averaging 130 plus. No, we don't want a repeat of 2013 Worlds. <laughs> 2013. That was Moncton when we went the to Fair Lanes. Year. Their gut is like this when they were bold. Oh, I bowled like I bowled like shit. I think I averaged 122. 870,000 spread eagles. I've never seen more spread eagles made in my life than I seen <laughs> in that week. Two two house records broken the same like it basically in the same twenty four hour period. Oh, yeah. Well, that's happened before in the world. Six guys it's, were one thirty five and over. Like it was, but oh, but but it here's was the insane. thing, guys. When I first started in the worlds in ninety two, that was the worlds. They had twenty guys averaging one thirty. Right. Like that, I well, that's not necessarily a hundred percent testament to the houses. There was also a different era back then. There were so many more tournaments. There were roll-offs. There was TV. Guys were bowling two leagues. You were so in tune with your game but that when you went to the tournament, it was easier to turn on that like mega thing. switch. Bangor, I'm not going to say they would slop it up, but they would make sure the pins were juiced. Or they would, they would make sure that the, the plates were clean, the plates were done every morning. Every morning. Fredericton, the old Hanwells, the yeah. plates were the plates were done every morning. Yeah. So that year, my my first year in Canada, ninety three, I'm pretty sure it was ninety three. Tony LeBlanc, Peter Peter Flynn averaged one forty. Both get out of here. That's absurd. Yeah. In ninety yeah. three. In ninety three, I believe they both averaged one. No, no I think no, that high was average five. Maybe yeah, was I was going to say, 93 high averages were both on the uh, the Fredericton team that won. Yeah. And it was... Uh, oh, Kansas and... Uh, it was Kansas and I think... Uh, was it Hal? No, I think it was uh, Tony LeBlanc. Yes. They were both 139.5 yes. or 6 or I, and something it might like have that. been it might have been 95. The next time it was at Hanwell in 95. I just Brian, remember... Brian's got it. He's looking it up. <laughs> yeah, I, he's, he's got, got my books. Um, I do have the books. I... I all I re all I can read, and the only reason I bring this up is, it was in Bangor. The pins were done. The plates were done every day. Okay. Right. 
went to Hanwell's. The plates were done every day. Back to Bangor. And then it went to uh, Halifax. It went to Fairlanes. The plates were done every day. Do not listen to them and say, oh, no, we only did the plates. Up. I'm calling bullshit. The plates were done every morning. I'm not saying they were sloppy. They were not sloppy. It wasn't like Halifax they took a gallon of juice sloppy. and just... So I, I only uh, have up to round six in 1995 when it was at Hanwell's, but this is after round six. Joe Ashline was your high average at 144.06. How many strings, though? Six. Does he have all of them? Yeah. 18, Joe, 18, 18 strings. So, yeah. so he yeah, every one of them. Okay. Tony yeah. LeBlanc was 138. Jeff Atkins was 132. Kevin Davis was 130. The tenth high average was one twenty seven point nine four, and it was Scotty Richardson from Cape Breton. That and that's still after day two, right? That's yeah. not just like walking in after one day's matches and you had right. a boss level day. No, you it, went in it, and did it again. It, here we go. Craig Holbrook was nineteenth with one twenty six point six seven. Okay, the difference is, and you are correct, Mackie. People bowled more back then. There were more tournaments. People were more on their game. Okay, but I'm telling you, the plates were done every day, not sloppy done. Again, I'm not saying they they slopped it up. I'm saying it was cleaned. And then they whatever they used, maybe it was orange glow. Maybe it was I lane think it's conditioner got away from lane conditioner. I really think lane conditioner is what everybody used back then. And the pins just went better. It was. I know for a fact that's what Austin it's just Hills expensive. Used. Well, conditioner is yep. an oil base, and oil base. As a guy that runs a bowling alley, you have an oil base situation that gets in and around your machine. People sure. say, "Oh, well, you have machinery and it's oil." No, it's not good. It ends up gumming up every yep. piece of thing that moves. And I understand that. So, like for, for your, that's why a lot of places transferred to dry silicone. Dry silicone, yes, it transfers dirt and stuff through your machine, but it doesn't transfer like an oil base through your machine, which is a lot harder to clean up. Right. You know, I we've looked into it. I've looked into it, you know, changing. I'd love to get away from dry silicone. I hate it. It turns your pins yellow and it just messes with things. It's very hard to find something that has that lubricant level other than going to something oil based. But something yeah. oil based would make your pins absolutely scream. They did. Look, yeah, I, I grew up. Everybody uses so, orange glow around here now. See, I, and I can't see an orange glow because it makes my balls. It. They stick and they stick to my hands. And it's it just, wears off after three strings. It, it just, there was something about, and again, I understand the whole oil based lane conditioner gums up the system. I get that. But I'm talking, if you want the best pinfall, that's what you used back then. Right. Like if I had a one week tournament coming in, the best bowlers in the world coming to my bowling alley for a week. I would make the sacrifice for the week and use the thing that would help the guys put up absurd scores because it's the world's. You really don't want the difficulty of the house deciding the tournament. You need the best bowlers in the world deciding the tournament, to be honest. You don't and need it to be stupid, but you want to give the best bowlers mm -hmm. a chance to bowl the best. And that's, that's all we ask. And that's what we found year after year after year was your best bowlers – or your best teams, more times than not, won that tournament. I mean, now all of a, now you don't. I, I mean, don't know. Look, Let me check. Calvin's, Calvin's won three times. <laughs> Obviously, the best teams aren't winning. Well, it's not. It's, it's not that the best teams aren't winning. It's that whatever, you, whatever you, guy. Like okay, whatever no. Guy. Here we go. This is a perfect example. He and knows. We'll he back, knows. I'm just fucking with him. And and what? we'll go back to the last world. What? He's got to do it. He's allowed to flaunt it. He's got it. He's allowed to flaunt it. God, it sucks, but he's Three. he's right. Hey, could you find my name on there? It's so small, Tim. I, I couldn't even. Hey, actually, I turned it right to it. <laughs> he, he, that's not the first time he's heard that. Um, yeah, it's probably. Right. Right. But I'm still married, so. True. Because she can that? handle it. And, I, and I've lost my train of thought now. Oh, no. So here's a perfect example. That last ball, Winchell threw. That had no oh. business being that break. Ooh, and, no. then I, and like back in the day, would that have been that break, Tim, or was that a missile? No. It may not have been a, it may not have been a strike. Right. But it definitely would have been better than the leave he left. It would have been. Mm -hmm. And you're <sighs> That's an instance where the house decided. Who your won house that match. decided. 
Okay. And now, that's nothing against bad Moncton, breaks, but Do bad yeah. breaks happen? Of course they happen. Absolutely. That's game of candlepin bowling. There's a foot between each one of those pins. Shit happens. But there are houses that have their particular shots. Academy is the the two and one with the plank over the two. Moncton is where you get down the side, you hit the quarter pin, you just take out the three and you leave the horseman and the two in the corner. Uh, you know? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the worst. Huh. Calvin might know that lead. <laughs> Yeah. That doesn't go very often, does it, Calvin? That's, that's my leave. <laughs> <laughs> that's my leave. He said. That's my leave. You know, just miss the head pin, and you take out the three, yeah. and you're left with the four and three. Oh, it's the worst. So, look, we only got about 15 minutes left. I know Marky's got to head out. Um, he he was voluntold. Thank you, Calvin, for that. Yeah, voluntold. Thank you. Um, so let's talk uh, real quickly. Let's. Uh, I'll get. We got some rosters here. Uh, so we've got uh, Price's Wood Flooring, which is Nate Lee's, Freshy, Godwin, uh, Josh Rio, Lori Lewis, Sarah Duffy, and Amy Doobie. I can hear um, that team from here with Freshy on it. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I mean, so obviously, Sarah must be the over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming he didn't. Well, of course, Nate's running the tournament, and he listed the overs for everyone except for his team. So I'm assuming. Of course. I again, I'm assuming. Uh, Freshy, is he over? Is is an over? No, they're all under. So no, guarantee not, if use, not if we used our Friday night Lita Lane's average I don't, from last year. If that was the case, then literally well, the nobody, nobody was an over. The nobody. nobody. Yeah. So I, I don't know as if you can really <laughs> use that one. I don't know if you can. Um, but anyway, so there's Price's Wood. You've got Team Nichols, which is Matt Nichols, Mike Erickson, Rich Lamone, and Natasha Hussey, Tim Douglas, Eric Bromberg. Uh, Kat Altaricio and Becca Vestal. Um, over, I think, is Tim Douglas, or at least that's what's listed on here. I believe that that kid's coming up, making a lot of noise for himself. He's doing the right thing he, a lot. He, I don't. I'm trying to place him, and I I, I can't. For he some bowls reason. down out of um, Alley Cat Lanes down in Kingston, Mass, oh. down on the south yeah. shore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. that was the where we had the Pro Series doubles yeah. that day, Tim. Yeah, yep. I know. Trust me, I know. It's it's a long. I remember that day, Peter. Yeah, it's a long drive. Day. That, that is, is a such long a drive long for up drive. here. Uh, we got Manchester Foundation, which is Dean Sullivan, Norm Pelletier, Jeff Walsh, Faye Sawyer, uh, Laura D. I don't know. Laura um, DeFleur. Okay. Laura, Laura DeFleur. She was just at Riverwalk yesterday, bowling the uh, ladies' oh. teacher. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Throws Blanca, a hell of a ball. Uh, Blanca Guterna. Yep. Uh, and Justin Scally. Uh, we got Academy Lanes, which is uh, Cheech. Norcross, Billy Bloom, Nick Leach, Nicole McKeever, and Alicia Cali. Again, yep. Nicole like. must be the over. Yeah, Back. Nicole's the over. Yep. <laughs> Nicole's well, the over for sure. I mean, we've all seen Norcross ball, so he's definitely not the over. No. Uh, I like Nick. Uh, we do have the Penny Lane Prima Donnas. God, <laughs> Prima I, love, Donnas. I love the fact that we changed our name. <laughs> I do. I love that. Uh, we that is uh, Natty Kelly, Sonia Rossi, Mario, Evan, myself, Jeff Soret, and Jimbo Ayot. I can't. Uh, so Jimbo's the over. Somebody will unfriend me, so I, I don't want to. I won't. Well, say Maddie, <laughs> Maddie's gonna unfriend you. Uh, no, that would be uh, myself and Soret are the over. So uh, I will. I will say Tim is over. I bowled with him all year on Thursdays, and as hard as he tried to get under the last few weeks, from what it seemed like, he stayed up there. I would never try. No, I because bowled we like bowled shit. two. Well, we bowled two out of three weeks downstairs. I was gonna say I bowled like shit, but I would never try to be an under. I know you wouldn't. Um, he just tries to bowl like shit. Uh, no, he doesn't need to try some. Trust me, if you try, if you come up, Marky. If you come up, have you ever bowled at Oakland Park? No, I've been looking forward. Okay. To come up and stay there. in the Crusader Cave. Come up, stay. We'll hang come out. Up, we'll we'll have Calvin come down. When we'll he can, bowl, we'll bowl a couple of strings upstairs, and then we'll take you downstairs. <laughs> downstairs, and then <laughs> the you dungeon. guys will understand when that's I Kayla's say Kayla's place, right? Oakland yes. Park. That's that's yeah. Kayla's. Yeah. I've been looking for a reason to get up there. Yeah, you will think... understand. The average is 10, 10 plus pin difference upstairs to downstairs. I think we're going to have to, uh, the four of us, when, when we're all opened, we're going to have to do a tour. We'll all take a vacation week and we'll go to every bowling alley, states <laughs> in Canada, and we'll rate them on a scale of quirky 
too <laughs> fast, too, too rough, stupid. Tough. I've it's actually stupid. I've done a lot of that through New Brunswick. I've been to more than a few places, and yo, there's some nice alleys up in New Brunswick that you've never seen before. I've been to Park Lanes. I've been to uh, Castle Lanes out in Miramichi. Miramichi. Like this, I'll never go there again. Yeah, I, I had a weird experience there. It's all synthetic and it's kind of strange. And but the, they have e machines there. They have the same machines that I have at Riverwalk. So I was talking to the guy and I stole a couple of his ideas and I do stuff at the lanes now. But otherwise, real nice place. There's a Dairy have... Queen upstairs. No, beside what? it. Oh, is it beside it? It's okay. just beside it. Yeah. But there's like it's... an entrance you can walk through. Yeah. The you Dairy walk Queen. through. You go right to Dairy Queen, right from the bowl and Awesome. Uh, you got Drywall Concepts, which is Mark Carrier, Brian Purdy, Jeff LaPierre, Mark Weber, Kobe Carrier, Sarah Simmons, Aaron Merrill, Kerrigan Skinner. Uh, they've got 432 people on that team. And Aaron Merrill is the over. Like, mm -hmm. do these That's women not want to find good bowlers to bowl with? <laughs> <laughs> All the good bowlers can't get over the border, Calvin. Yeah, that's true. Apparently. That's, that's true. That's yeah. what it is. Uh, let's see. You got Central Park Lanes, which is uh, Corrado Pani, uh, Peter Penny, Stephen, is it Boat? Botti? Steve Body. Stephen Body. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Melanie? Mel? Melanie? Yep. Okay. Uh, Jessica Pecora, Jeff Fields. Uh, Felicia Lombardozzi. Don't know who she is. And like uh, Brian Fournier. <laughs> are, are, are they a deli? <laughs> it's <laughs> Boston. It's a very Italian slash like like yeah. a lot of people's names and yeah. vowels in that yeah. particular. They run, they run a deli. Yes. <laughs> yep. Uh, then you got uh, Team Regan, which is Deb Regan. Oh my God! This team? which we're actually called Exeter Lanes. I don't know why in the hell it's called Team Regan, and I'm kind of the captain of that team. Okay, so just well, like Mark, just let it go, man. You're not the over. Deb is just leave it be, bud. You <laughs> suck. It's <laughs> her team. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> uh, we got Matt Susie. We got uh, Joey Lister, Mike Kane, Heather Twombly, and Sharon Britton. Um, obviously, your over is Joey. And... I was going to say he's the only over on the team. You know. Well, I've seen you, bowl, Mark. You're definitely not an over, so not anymore. You're, you're, apparently, no. no, no, not anymore, not at all. No, not after what I watched you bowl the other week. Oh God, <laughs> yo, that place <laughs> ate my ass alive. <laughs> you go thirty or thirty-five on the head pin and throw five seventeen, and then you tell me how much you hate your life. I don't I know, hate Brian. It. Brian, I hate Brian, my life. Can Brian can tell you about a time or two with me when I went. Uh, what was it, Brian? Eighty-six out of a hundred boxes on the head pin. We bowled uh, a 10 stringer in Freiburg, and he was 86 out of 100, and he almost won it with like 1165. Oh, God. It was yeah, I, won't, I won't be going down to Ryan's, Ryan's family amusements in Millis anytime soon for anything if I don't have to. Uh, we <laughs> got uh, Team Baker, which is uh, Baker. He is the over. Uh, Kim Pelletier, Chris Bovere, Corey Packard, Mary Thomas. We got Huff Power Sports. That would be Matt Huff, Kai Hunt, DJ Trask, Dom Drake, Vanessa Huff, and Christy Hapworth. Uh, Stars and Strikes, Chris Merrill. Uh, they don't have him listed as, the, as an over, but I'm assuming at 128 average in South Paris, he's an over. Yeah, yeah it should be. <laughs> Better be. Yeah, uh, Russ Neely Jr., Mike Jakes, Shannon Scribner, Kelsey Layton, Cliff Walker. You got Team Goodwin, uh, Daryl Goodwin, I don't know who ML is. ML Carr? I, I don't know. His girlfriend, uh, Mary Lynn Bojowski. Oh. They've been an item for a long, long time. Okay. Well, they just had it listed as ML. People. So That's all always... we call her is ML. We, yeah. Everybody okay. just oh, okay. calls her ML. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kate Finn, Rob Linehan, Chris Parkinson, Mike Nardone, and Chris McClellan. That is your Ryan's Family Amusements Millis team. They are all Ryan's bowlers from oh. down there. Okay. Yep. Uh, you got Team Skinner. Uh, Renee Skinner, Zach Skinner, Will Damon, Rick Martell, Shane Witham, Aaron Basford, Cassidy McClendon, and Tony Allen. Um, I don't know Cassidy McClendon. Brian, do you know who that is? That's Stephanie's daughter, Stephanie Arsenal's daughter. Oh, okay. I did not know she that. Just, uh, she just graduated high school. It's her first pro tournament. Oh, good for her. Okay. She bowls with Kerrigan and Jenna and all yep. those young girls from South Paris. Yep. So another up and coming bowler then. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good. Good. Uh, you got Team Boyd, which is Catherine Boyd, Sh uh, Shirel, Shirel Neeland. Yep. Sorry for butchering your name. 
uh, Sean Berryman, Tim Dupree, uh, Steve Walker, Bob Boyd, and Nancy Bestel. Uh, let's see, Team Holbrook, uh, some stiff named Craig Holbrook. Uh, I heard of him. Mm. You heard have? Him. I haven't. You never heard of that guy? No. No. Oh, he's good. No. He's left-handed. He's really yeah, good. Yeah, he's some lefty. Oh, I, uh, lefties he's, aren't good. He's got a chance to be something. Yeah. They, they if it's the same, if it's the same guy good. I'm thinking of, he's got a chance to be something. Eventually. That, he's, that he's or okay. if he doesn't, he'll bring us some Coca-Cola and help to drown yeah. the sorrows. Yes. Uh, Josh Daly, uh, Brian Heffernan, JoJo, Sue Helleran, and John Blay. How the hell did Daly get on a team with Holbrook? Does Holbrook even He's know who Josh hand. Daly is? He's left hand. Apparently, Daly's the over. Daly's it's, the it's, over. It's so it's it's ruined. What, the whole tournament. What is year ruined. is it? <laughs> I, I don't know. Not this year. Uh, let's did we see, just stumble into Jumanji Land? Like, oh, we, I think so. Yellow Can you have two lefties on one team? I don't. I don't think that's allowed either. Is it? Well, I think that was COVID, cleverly so left off. Wait, 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 who's going to bowl last? You got to have Holbrook bowl last, right? Well, no, you have your over bowling last. Rosano's going to bowl last on that team. What are you even That's talking true. about? That's true. Never mind. Yeah. yeah. Jojo will still be bowling the first string. We'll, we'll be on the fourth. <laughs> right. And she doesn't have a problem with that. No. Team, she'll still bowl 1,200 while doing it. Uh, let's see. You got Team Smith, which is Joe Smith, Deb DeRosia, Glennis Hickey McKinley. Uh, Cheryl Gooding, Austin Barnes, Tim Jalbert, Ken Dubray. Austin Austin's Barnes, keep on your eye on that young man oh, in the, the next five bowler. years. You keep your eye on that young man in the next few years. Yeah, he's a good bowler. Uh, he's going to be great. Yeah. Harry's All-Stars, which is Steve Reno, Tina Ward, Jess. I didn't think Jess Stockton was bowling. She's not. Um, Steve confirmed in the captain's chat the other day that she's not bowling. So who she, is bowling? I do not know. He did not list a replacement in the captain's chat. So they don't have a second woman? I don't know, man. They're probably well, you're the currently captain. trying to find Of my one. team. Yeah. Oh, okay. He, 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 didn't uh, put, he didn't put uh, a replacement just yet. I'm sure okay. he'll, he'll get back and find something. Uh, Brandon Marks, John Boudreaux, John Winchell. Boudreaux and Winchell, the overs. And then uh, the 18th team, team uh, and I'm going to butcher this last name, and I totally apologize. Is it Dumas? Dumas? Karen Dumay. Dumay. Okay. Dumay. Yep. Uh, so Karen Dumay, uh, Celeste Buckmore, Gina Campbell, Rich Magnarelli, John Dumay, Al Ketchik, and Dan Schwenard. There's your Metro Bowl team out of Peabody. They're okay. very much uh, Peabody, Peabody North Shore Masters. Is Mass Alley over? Peabody. It's not Peabody. It's Peabody. <laughs> Peabody. It's not no, Peabody. It's Peabody. It's, Peabody. Well, who's the over, it's not Peabody. Well, who's the over on that one? Is it Al? I no idea. They don't Classic have it listed. Is guaranteed an over. That okay. man is. That's what I thought too. Stupid sneaky good. Stupid sneaky yeah, good. They don't have one listed, so throws a ball that you don't think will score at all, and it just rips everything apart. And the next thing you know, in a Friday night match, he just threw four thirty in your face, and you yep. didn't even realize. Yes. He's had five beers and is all set, and he's like, "Hey, th there's your ass whooping." Bye. <laughs> no, he, well, he don't drink. He got real oh, good stuff. I, I don't know. Real yeah. good stuff. Well, so there is the uh, there is the eighteen teams. Uh, oh, apparently uh, Nate Lee said, "Please add Pete Crawford to your team with the one twenty two. So to who's team? I don't know. Nate Lee's. I could see that. I can see really? him picking up Peter. Yeah. But you've already got Freshie and Godwin, aren't they the overs? They should be. They better be. Okay, right now they're not listed as overs. This is why so we have captain meetings. You're a captain, you may <laughs> want to be discussing that. Mm-hmm. Um is so Mark, I know you gotta direct. you gotta run here in about one more minute. I kinda do. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go pick um, up the wife down in Boston. She's coming back from Florida with a little weekend warrior trip with the friends, the ladies. And we're down to Miami Beach and lived it up while we sat here and well, lived on the edge. Of walk the home. You call and, her an Uber. And it was still hotter here than it was in Miami Beach. Yeah. You call her an Uber. She'll be fine. Oh, yeah. That'll go off great by the time she gets That'll be great. Do you have the house clean? Because Tim was supposed to have the house clean when he came back. That's where I drew the line. When I was falling told, I was like, I was going to get it up, have the kids help me clean it up. At... No. Not no. Now. Not now. <laughs> Pizza box is still on the stove from last night from Papa Gino's. Don't give a shit. Don't care. Nice. We have a, we have a wild animal sighting behind Cap. 
Calvin. Is, is, that, is that puppy or is oh. that kitty? Oh, going the wrong way. Yeah. yeah. Doggy. Is that a doggy? Moving on the couch. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dog on okay. the couch and cat in his spot. <laughs> All right. I got a I get a wild animal side animal sighting here. It's my wife. Hi, honey. And Tim's dead. And I'm dead. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap it. Asia. We'll wrap it up for this week. Um, we obviously didn't get to lock letters, so we will double up on the lock letters next week. Uh, As just, Calvin is joining us permanently for going forward. Well, we're kind of in a trial basis to see. Like, you didn't tell me there was a trial period. I already threw away the receipt. <laughs> oh. I already so, have the contract signed. It's so, all right. <laughs> yeah, I just faxed them over. I had them notarized and everything. Yeah. I'm definitely Let's all about it. There's no trial uh, necessary as far as I'm concerned. This is all right. Necessary. Well, we'll we'll keep them then. Sorry. Guess guess we'll keep them. Fucking sorry, he says. <laughs> yeah. So, sorry. as usual, you can send your questions, comments, your concerns about Brian and his OnlyFans account. You can send Calvin questions. <sighs> Two, you got to use Santa Iraq. Claus in the North Pole mail, though. <laughs> Ripping yes. the Rack Podcast at oh, gmail.com. Oh, oh. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter at Ripping the Rack Podcast. You can find us on Instagram, even though we haven't posted anything there at Ripping the Rack Podcast. We are not on OnlyFans. Brian, where else? Uh, yeah. Now that I'm here, <laughs> we're getting into it. No. They can Maddie's listen to us be my on... number one fan. Oh, <laughs> They can listen to us on Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, Anchor, Breaker, Google Podcasts, and wherever else you listen to your podcasts. Good job, Brian. I Thank don't you. care what Calvin says. You're all right. I think, I think you I can think open the okay. show next week, Brian. I mean, Sounds really. Good. <laughs> I'll do you. Listen to Tim. Hey, everybody, <laughs> favorite Marky, as he was taking yeah. a picture. No, <laughs> this is no. Ripping the Rack's first ever Instagram picture. Nice. Nice. Anyway, folks, we appreciate it. Uh, you can hear us on Tuesday mornings and Friday mornings. Friday, again, remember, Fridays are everything other than candlepin bowling. I have no idea what we're going to talk about this week, but we'll figure something out. Probably lots of hockey. We could talk curling. Oh, I love curling. I, love I would curling. love to I talk love curling. curling. Curling Friday, folks. That is we'll my talk other favorite. We'll Calvin's going to initiate on us into curling. That's that is my love. other favorite thing. Dude, me and my wife, we have YouTube TV, and on there is Olympic Channel. And when yes. curling is on, we stop yes. everything yeah. and watch. Don't Tell care who's, who's rolling. Don't care. Uh, we still and watch. as usual, you can see Mark and Brian on Sunday evenings on uh, twitch.tv, Johnny Death Drop. On the Dudes and Belts chat cast. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Peace.